Knee arthritis is a major problem in the United States. Uh, there's hundreds of thousands of people who have knee arthritis, and the major symptom uh, that people have is pain. Uh, in addition, they'll get some stiffness as the um, disease progresses, but pain is really the, the, the major problem. What brings them to see me uh, typically is um, pain and a loss of function because as the knee, as the joint becomes uh, more and more stiff and more and more painful, they can't do the things they like to do, they have trouble walking, they have trouble exercising, and that's what brings people to the office. When a patient comes to see me uh, with knee arthritis, there's a number of things we can do that are non-operative in nature to try to keep the knee going. Um, for example, exercise, strength, simply strengthening the leg um, can take some pressure off the knee and allow a person to continue to, to function even though they have knee arthritis. Uh, there are also some medical treatments. Uh, people take anti-inflammatory medications, although I do worry about the medicines in the long run having side effects. And there are uh, injectable medicines that we can put into the knee. Uh, cortisone is one, it's a very potent uh, pain reliever. Another is, uh, falls into the category of visco supplementation. It's like a gel and it coats the, the joint, uh, gives the knee a little bit of lubrication, a little bit of nutrition for the cartilage, and many people get some relief from that. Those are the non-operative uh, med- uh, uh, ways to manage knee arthritis, and then there's operative ways to manage knee arthritis. And typically, arthritis will affect uh, one or two of these comp- um, compartments more than the third, um, but in most patients, it does affect two, and therefore the partial knee replacements don't tend to be as effective. And that's where uh, total knee replacement uh, comes in. And with the total knee replacement, uh, people think that what we're doing is, is kind of taking the knee out and putting a new knee in, and that's actually not accurate. What we do is resurface uh, the knee. We put a cap on the end of the thigh bone, uh, like you see here, and a cap on the top of the tibia or shin bone, like you see here. And then there's a, uh, a liner or spacer in between the two that allows the joint to move without friction. In addition, what you can't see here is that we do resurface the kneecap, which runs over the front of the knee, and that uh, also uh, allows the knee to function without pain. So this is really the the surgical solution for knee arthritis when all the other uh, non-surgical solutions have failed. I recommend knee replacement for patients when their quality of life is affected by the arthritis in their knee. And that's that can be different for every patient. Uh, some patients will come in not have as much arthritis uh, on the x-ray or uh, on the exam, but have quite a bit of disability because of their uh, knee arthritis. Other patients, it's amazing. They don't have much pain, but their knee becomes very stiff and they have a lot of crunching sensation in the knee from the, uh, the loose bodies. Uh, so it really is a, is a patient, uh, individual patient decision as to when it's best to have a knee replacement. Basically, when the quality of life is affected by the uh, arthritis, uh, the patient is unable to exercise, the um, patient wakes up with pain, has to take a fair amount of pain medication, um, and it impacts their health in other ways. Generally then, that's when it's time to uh, have a knee replacement. Computer navigation is a tool that allows me to uh, do total knee surgery more accurately and more precisely. Uh, it is a, a big help in the operating room. The computer itself doesn't do the surgery, I do the surgery but the computer allows me to make the most precise and accurate uh, cuts in the bone, which we need to do to position the components of the total knee replacement uh, anatomically. So if you look at um, this model here, you can see uh, the components of the the knee replacement. This is the uh, uh, femoral component and the tibial component, the one that sits on top of the shin bone. And the the bone is is cut in a perpendicular to the floor here, or perpendicular to the ankle, I should say, and um, the component is placed into the bone in that position. And similar way, cuts are made along the uh, femur. The, the computer is a very powerful tool that allows me to make these cuts very precisely. Uh, studies indicate that I can make those cuts more precisely than I could if I was just using my eyes or the old, old, older tools that we used uh, in the operating room. Uh, the other advantage to having a, a computer in the operating room is that it, I can uh, minimize the soft tissue um, dissection that is necessary in order to perform the knee replacement surgery. In a sense, it's another set of eyes on the, um, on the, the patient in the knee uh, that allow me to, to minimize the exposure that I need to, make the, uh, to perform the procedure. 
So it's a valuable uh, tool for several reasons. Most importantly is the alignment issue, but secondarily it does help me uh, minimize the incision and minimize the dissection so that the uh, patient can rehab quicker uh, after the surgery. Patients definitely benefit from having knee replacement surgery. Their uh, pain is decreased and their function is improved. It takes a little while to get there. The rehab is a challenge, but they, patients get to that point. The advantage of the computer is uh, probably twofold. One, uh, there are fewer medical complications associated with using the computer, primarily from avoiding uh, some of the techniques we used in the, uh, with previous surgery before we used the computer. And uh, the other is that it's uh, less disruptive to the normal soft tissue anatomy or the soft tissue around the knee uh, so that patients can rehab uh, more quickly. There's less uh, injury to the muscle, uh, to the tendons, and so that patients can back, get back to their activities uh, more quickly. A patient will come to the office with uh, complaints of knee pain, stiffness, tightness, and really a decrease in the quality of life. And they've come to the conclusion that they're ready for knee replacement surgery. And that's really the first step in the process. Uh, once the patient has decided to go ahead with the surgery, we'll set a date. Uh, they'll need to see their medical doctor to get medical clearance and to get ready for the, the upcoming procedure. Then the surgery itself is really a small part of the whole package. Uh, the surgery itself only takes a couple of hours. Uh, it's really painless. The anesthesiologists uh, take care of all those issues so the, the patients don't have any discomfort at all during the surgery. And then they wake up and spend a couple days in the, um, in the hospital. Uh, those first two or three days are challenging. Uh, we give as much pain medicine as we can so the patients are comfortable and can get through the rehab. The rehab starts immediately after the surgery. Uh, we want the patients to get up and get moving and get back to their activities as soon as possible, so we encourage very active and aggressive physical therapy in the early stages. Uh, then after uh, three days in the hospital, most patients will then decide to go to an inpatient rehab facility, which uh, they'll tend to spend between four or five days and seven or eight days, uh, depending on the patient. Some will even spend up to two weeks if, um, if they're if they live independently and don't have anyone at home to help care for them. And they'll spend this period of time in the, in the inpatient facility uh, getting a very aggressive rehab, getting back to the activities of daily living, uh, doing a lot of training to walk and, and use the stairs uh, and get back to uh, normal life. Uh, after those, those initial uh, 10 days or so between the hospital and the rehab, the patient goes home. And at home, uh, some patients uh, need some more help. Uh, sometimes a, a visiting nurse or visiting therapist could come to the home uh, for a period of time uh, to help get them back to their uh, normal life. Others are ready at that point to, to enter outpatient physical therapy uh, where they go to therapy, work with a therapist about three times a week uh, for another four to six weeks to get their strength back, their motion back, and their function back uh, so they can uh, return to their normal activities. Uh, so it's a, it's a roughly a two-month process uh, for, for patients once they decide to go ahead with knee surgery. Uh, and by far the most difficult part of that is the first two weeks. After that, people are home uh, getting back to their, their normal lives.